Welcome, welcome to another installment of The Goddess Keys, where we unleash and unlock the keys and the codes so that we can reclaim access to the highest versions of ourselves, as well as our most abundant timelines. And today we are going deeper into the caverns of our hearts and unlocking anything that may be hidden or anything that may be brought to light at this time. And we're going to do that today through a meditation to access our inner heart space. This is actually brought by a website called heartstar.org which is a really great resource and blog for supporting with anchoring in the galactic timelines of love and peace on earth at this time. So one thing that we know from previous episodes is that we're learning that the heart is a stargate and it has the ability to not only magnetize the circumstances that we want to see co-created in our material reality, but it also has the capacity to neutralize any dense energies that may be blocking or stagnating our highest vibrational timelines as well. So if we are anchored into source creation and we access a certain level of God, goddess power, then the world is truly our oyster with an unlocked heart chakra, whether it's a fourth dimensional heart chakra or the higher heart chakra complex which we're moving towards and so what we are going to do is take a journey into our inner heart space so get comfortable and we're going to start with a round of some breathing we're going to do a round of four 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 breath where we breathe in for the count of four we hold our breath for the count of four and we breathe out of our nose for the count of four. We're doing that for another three times, breathing in for four, holding for four, breathing out of our nose for four. Two more times, breathing in for four, holding for four, Breathing out of our nose for four. Last time, breathing in for four. Holding for four. Breathing out of our nose for four. And we're going to take this time to connect with our pillar of light. Connecting not just to one particular chakra, but finding ways to balance the energies along our spinal column so that we unite this energy into what is known as our pillar of light. And this is our direct line to source. And so we can actually start by uh, connecting to our third eye chakra, what would typically be known as our third eye chakra. And just imagine a star right at this point and env envision that this star is connected to a thread which basically expands a pillar of light going down our spinal column reaching our tailbone and then going back up to where our third eye chakra is and so we're just envisioning that this motion of visualization is lighting up our spinal column, lighting up our pineal gland, our pituitary gland, and we're envisioning this pillar of light going up and down from the base of our spine to the center of our forehead. And next what we're going to do is we're going to go a little deeper so once you bring that pillar of light back to well, once you bring your focus right back to the base of your spine go deeper so go about 12 inches beneath the earth anchor into what is known as the earth star chakra 
This is where we connect to the Earth's ley lines. This is where we connect to our lineage. The many lives that we have led, the many lives that our ancestors have led. The many things that our Earth has experienced. And we connect our pillar of light into this earth star chakra. We can even envision that there is a star that is anchored 12 inches below the earth. And this star is being lit up now by our pillar of light. And then we're going to shoot that pillar of light back up to the forehead. But we're actually going to go a little further. And we're going to shoot that pillar of light from just right out of our crown chakra. We're going to go 12 inches above our crown chakra and we're going to shoot that pillar of light back down so that it immerses all aspects of our spinal column going down to the earth star chakra and then even going further down now going down into the core of the earth this crystal core of the earth if you can imagine it and we're going to envision this pillar of light connecting from the crystal core of the earth through our earth star chakra through our spinal column out of the crown of our head up 12 inches above our head and then back down and we're going to take some focused time and attention to truly anchor into the crystal core of the earth and at this crystal core of the earth there's something that is known as the Gaian Gateway, which is its own stargate, which connects to galactic realities, galactic timelines. And so we are anchored in by the cosmos as well. We're anchored into the core of the earth. We're anchored into the cosmos. We're anchored into the ley lines. We're anchored into our ancestry. We're anchored into our bodies. In our energetic field and what we want to do is envision that there is a protective shield that is created within this anchoring so we create a shield of about 12 feet in diameter in all directions so maybe you are envisioning that you are anchored within a cosmic egg maybe you are anchored within a pillar of light but this is your safe haven as you do this activation at this time. And so you can decorate your shield of light, your pillar of light, however you may see fit. Now focus into your head, feel and envision yourself in there, a little you inside your head. Maybe it looks like a room and you're sitting on a chair. Now you're going to see before you a spiral staircase going downward. And this spiral staircase is going to lead you into your metaphysical heart space within the center of your chest. So you can envision that this staircase, however it appears in your mind, once you go down this staircase, you go into this heart center. You end up at your heart portal. So put your foot on the first step. Feel it for real. Look down at the step. See what it's made out of. Make sure you're secure and you're grounded with this. Now form the second step and keep following down the spiral stairs all the way into your heart until you are standing in front of a little door. Now you put your hand on the door, feel the wood under your palm and press slightly. Does the door open? Do you see into a forming landscape beyond it? Or does it remain closed, perhaps even locked? Doing this, you are showing yourself 
whether your inner heart space is open for you to enter into or whether there is some blockage that needs to be cleared, some healing that needs to take place before you enter. And have no judgment and try not to use any force because that would be coming from the ego. You are simply showing yourself what is the present condition of your inner heart connection. Be calm, patient with yourself, for this is self-trust. And you're going to ask source for highest guidance for entering your inner heart. And then you will find that a guide appears in whichever form works best for you. Now, if your door opens and you are able to walk through, you will find there an inner landscape, your inner realm of creation. And it will reflect to you visually and in other ways, your state of being on all levels. Just look, see, and feel. And we're just going to take a moment to just take in your surroundings. Going back to the 444 breath if you need to. Just look, see, and feel. And know that in this place, you can clear all that needs to be cleared. Heal all wounds and create anew, infinitely, from the seat of your soul. Take a moment to just take in what you want to bring back after this meditation ends. If there's a reflection, if there's any message that you receive. And next, envision co-creating the reality that you wish to see. So if there is some kind of a blockage, how might you work to transmute and transform that through the power of love? Knowing that you are the master creator and take a moment to lean into this. Creating with pure intent and pure unconditional love And next, we're going to go back into this moment in time. We're going to say goodbye to our heart space for now, knowing that it's not really goodbye because we carry our hearts with us wherever we go. Thanking our heart space for the lesson, for the information, for the intuition. Connecting back with our pillar of light, starting at the crystal core of Gaia. Transmuting anything that maybe no longer serves us. Getting the support of Gaia to transmute with the help of the Gaian gateway chakra. Knowing that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, just transformed. Bringing our pillar of light back to our earth star chakra, reflecting any of those changes within the earth's ley lines. Reflecting any of these changes within our ancestry, within our DNA, within our family tree. Reflecting these changes now as we go back up to the base of our spine with these new light codes. 
and we're just going to envision our pillar of light going up our spine past the crown of our head back down through our spine and we're going to do that a couple times Connecting back to our heart space one time. Maybe we even put our hands on our heart space. Connecting with the vibration of gratitude for this moment, for this ability to heal, not just for ourselves, but for our lineage and for the planet. And also knowing that as we shift the consciousness of the planet, it supports the whole galaxy since we are all connected to source. And as we conclude today's meditation, always remember that you are the key. And if you are seeking any kind of support on your journey at this time, you can visit the links below and there is support and services that I offer to help you with reclaiming your God, Goddess power. And until we meet again, bye.